Hello, I'm Dr. Amy. Have you ever felt your heart racing, palms sweating, and mind swirling with worries? If so, you're not alone. Many of us experience these signs of anxiety, a natural response to stress. Yet, when these feelings become overwhelming or too frequent, it's clear we need to find ways to manage them effectively. This is why we're here today, embarking on a journey to understand and manage anxiety. We'll be exploring a range of practical strategies from simple breathing exercises to mindful meditation, physical activity, and making healthy lifestyle choices. And remember, reaching out for support is not a sign of weakness, but strength. It's all about taking small steps towards a calmer, more serene state of being. So, are you ready? Let's take this step together towards a more serene state of being. Anxiety is a natural response to stress. It's your body's internal alarm system, designed to alert you to potential dangers. Imagine you're walking down a dark alley late at night. That prickling sensation at the back of your neck? That's anxiety, nudging you to be alert, to be cautious. However, in our modern world, this alarm can often sound off too frequently or too loudly, triggered by non-threatening situations, like a work deadline or a social gathering. This can result in a racing heart, a knot in your stomach, or a restless mind, making it difficult to focus, to sleep, or to simply be at peace. Anxiety, when it becomes a regular visitor, can disrupt our daily lives, and that's when it's essential to seek strategies to manage it. When anxiety becomes frequent or overwhelming, it's time to seek strategies to manage it. The first strategy we will explore is breathing techniques. You might be wondering why breathing, something we do every second of our lives, can be a strategy to manage anxiety. Well, let me tell you, it's not just about breathing, it's about how you breathe. Our breath is a powerful tool that can influence our state of mind. When we're anxious, our breathing can become rapid and shallow, which may increase feelings of fear and anxiety. But by consciously controlling our breath, we can help our body transition from a state of stress to a state of relaxation. Let's delve into one of the most effective breathing techniques known as the 478 method. The beauty of this technique is its simplicity. All you have to do is inhale for a count of four, Hold your breath for a count of seven, and then exhale slowly for a count of eight. Imagine yourself in a tranquil place, perhaps a quiet forest, a peaceful beach, or a serene mountaintop. With each breath, envision the air filling your lungs, bringing calm and peace as you inhale, hold, and then release. It's perfectly okay if you find it challenging at first. Like any new skill, it requires practice. Start by doing this once or twice a day and gradually increase the frequency as you become more comfortable. And remember, the goal here is not to eliminate anxiety entirely. That's an unrealistic expectation that can lead to disappointment. The objective is to manage anxiety and reduce its intensity. Breathing techniques can be a game changer, offering a natural and effective way to calm your mind and body. It's a strategy you can use anytime, anywhere, whether you're in the middle of a stressful situation or just going about your day. So the next time you find yourself feeling anxious, remember the power of your breath. Take a moment, close your eyes, and breathe. Inhale for four seconds, hold for seven seconds, and exhale for eight seconds. Practice this daily for best results. And remember, it's okay to have anxiety, it's okay to feel overwhelmed, but it's also okay to seek help and take steps to manage it. You're not alone in this journey, we're all in this together. Now let's take a deep breath and move forward, one step at a time. Another powerful tool for managing anxiety is mindfulness and meditation. Both of these practices invite you to connect with your body and mind in a non-judgmental way, creating a sense of calm and peace. Mindfulness is about being fully present and engaged in the moment, without distraction or judgment. It's about observing your thoughts and feelings as they arise, without trying to change them or push them away. You can practice mindfulness throughout your day, for example, by really paying attention when you're eating, walking, or doing simple household tasks. Meditation, on the other hand, is a more focused practice where you set aside time to quiet your mind and focus your attention. This can be on your breath, a word or phrase, or simply on the sensations in your body. There are many different forms of meditation, from guided meditations to silent practices, so you can find one that suits you. One simple mindfulness exercise you can try is the five senses exercise. This involves tuning into each of your five senses, sight, sound, touch, taste, and smell, one at a time, 
and really experiencing the sensations they bring. Another is a body scan, where you mentally scan through each part of your body, noticing any sensations or tensions. For meditation, you might begin with just five minutes a day. Find a quiet space, sit comfortably, and focus on your breath. As you breathe in and out, try to keep your attention on the sensation of the breath entering and leaving your body. When your mind wanders, as it inevitably will, gently bring it back to the breath. Remember, the goal is not to empty your mind or to stop your thoughts, it's simply to observe them without judgment. With consistent practice, mindfulness and meditation can help you develop a more calm and centered response to stress and anxiety. Acknowledge your thoughts without judgment and focus on the present moment. This is the essence of mindfulness and meditation, and with time and practice, they can become powerful allies in your journey to manage anxiety. Physical activity is a natural anxiety reliever. It's like nature's own stress buster. When we move and get our heart rate up, our body releases endorphins. These are chemicals in the brain that act as natural painkillers and mood elevators. They help us feel happier, more relaxed, and less anxious. Regular physical activity also improves sleep, which can often be disrupted by anxiety. It boosts self-confidence and helps us feel more in control, which can be incredibly empowering when dealing with anxiety. Now, when we talk about physical activity, we're not necessarily talking about running a marathon or lifting heavy weights, unless, of course, that's what you enjoy. Physical activity can be anything that gets your body moving. It could be a brisk walk in the park, a fun dance class, or a tranquil yoga session. The key is to choose activities that you enjoy, so it doesn't feel like a chore but rather a fun part of your day. If you're new to exercise or have been inactive for a while, it's okay to start slow. Even just a few minutes of physical activity are better than none at all. Start with simple activities like walking or swimming and gradually build up your endurance. It's also a good idea to mix things up. Variety can make exercise more fun and help you avoid burnout. For instance, you could alternate between cardio activities like jogging or cycling and strength training exercises like lifting weights or doing push-ups. Remember, it's important to listen to your body. If you feel pain or discomfort during an activity, stop and rest. There's no one-size-fits-all approach to exercise, so find what works best for you. And of course, before starting any new exercise program, it's always a good idea to check in with your doctor, especially if you have any health concerns or medical conditions. So are you ready to get moving? Remember, every step, every stretch, every dance move is a step towards less anxiety and a happier, healthier you. Find an activity you enjoy and make it a part of your routine. Never underestimate the power of a healthy lifestyle. It's a key player in managing anxiety. Consider your diet, a well-balanced one, rich in fruits, vegetables, lean proteins, and whole grains can provide the nutrients necessary for good mental health. Limiting caffeine and sugar can also help reduce anxiety symptoms. Next, let's talk about sleep. Regular quality sleep is vital to both physical and mental health. Try to establish a consistent sleep schedule and create a restful environment to enhance your sleep quality. Lastly, consider keeping a journal. It's a great way to express what you're feeling and gain clarity on your thoughts. It's not about writing a masterpiece, but about understanding yourself better. These lifestyle choices can significantly impact your anxiety levels, so start small, make one change at a time, and remember it's about progress, not perfection. And remember, seeking support is a sign of strength. We all need a hand to hold, a shoulder to lean on, or a listening ear from time to time. When you're dealing with anxiety, these forms of support can be particularly valuable. Friends and family can offer a comforting presence, a safe space to express your feelings, and a reassurance that you are not alone in your struggle. Sometimes, though, we need more than just the support of our loved ones. Support groups can provide a sense of community and understanding that's hard to find elsewhere. And professional help such as therapy or counseling can equip you with effective tools and strategies to manage your anxiety. These aren't signs of weakness, but rather steps towards resilience and recovery. It's okay to reach out. It's okay to ask for help. Talking to friends, joining a support group, or seeking professional help can provide you with additional coping strategies. Embarking on this journey towards managing your anxiety is a brave step forward. Today, we've walked through several strategies that can help you regain control and find peace. From understanding the nature of anxiety, to practicing deep breathing and mindfulness, to embracing physical activity and making healthy lifestyle choices. Remember, these are not overnight solutions but daily practices that can significantly improve your well-being over time. Furthermore, never underestimate the power of reaching out. 
Whether it's to loved ones, a support group, or a professional, sharing your experiences and seeking advice can be an immense source of comfort and strength. You're not on this journey alone. The journey towards managing anxiety is not a sprint, but a marathon. It's about making small, consistent changes to your lifestyle and thought patterns that add up over time. Practice these strategies and be patient with yourself. You're taking control one breath at a time. Thank you for watching today's video on mental health with Dr. Amy. If you found our content helpful, please consider taking a moment to support our channel. Here's how you can help. Subscribe to our channel. Click the subscribe button below. This way, you won't miss out on our weekly videos designed to help you with your mental health journey. Like this video, if you enjoyed what you watched, please give us a thumbs up. It helps more people find our content and supports our mission to spread mental health awareness. Leave a comment. We love hearing from you. Share your thoughts, experiences, or any questions you might have in the comment section. Your feedback is invaluable to us and helps shape our future content. Share on social media. Help us reach more people by sharing this video on your social media platforms. Every share makes a big difference in building a supportive community around mental health. Remember, you're not alone on this journey. Together, we can make a difference. For more tips, strategies, and discussions on mental health, stay tuned to Mental Health with Dr. Amy. Until next time, take care of yourself and each other.